Okay, all right, got something. I've been tagged. I'm tagging everybody right now. Y'all seen this before? You're gonna see it again. Screwed up underwear. Everybody show your most screwed up pair of underwear. Just make sure they're clean first. There it is, mine's mine. Jen, buy Pete some new underwear. This is for Pete. Okay, and hey, yeah, it's childish, but it's funny. If you can't have a childish, funny, good time sometimes, hey, get out, right? All right, <clears throat> now, a couple things I did not get to do this weekend uh, that I wanted to do. Uh, of course, uh, I didn't get to shoot. Uh, some things come up Saturday morning, and I had to be somewhere else, so wasn't able to go shooting. And then, that, of course, this morning, time I got back from church, it was late. Yes, I do go to church. If you do, that's great. If you don't, that's fine. That's between you and your maker. But uh, <clears throat> by the time I got out there, it was so packed. Uh, I didn't, you know, didn't even want to mess with it. So. What I'm gonna do is one day this week, I'm gonna take a morning off work and uh, you know, turn in like a half day's vacation or something. Maybe Tuesday or Wednesday, it depends. We're supposed to be getting some weather in, I'll have to watch that. And we're gonna get out there and we're gonna shoot early. And one of the reasons, one of the things I wanna do is I wanna shoot this shotgun again. Number one, because I just love to shoot, it's a lot of fun. But two, this uh, Tax Star side saddle that I have, got a lot of comments on it. And while most people do really like it, they say there is an issue with it. They say that as you fire, the rounds tend to walk their self down. And I can almost understand that because they're really not that hard. Some of them are not that hard. Like that one's pretty, pretty firm. This one's in good. This one's in fair. That one's fair. And then this one's really loose. Uh, so they say that they tend to walk with the primers down. They tend to walk down. So I can see where that's probably going to happen, but I want to make sure for my own purposes. And if it does, I got an idea on how to fix this and we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But I want to shoot this. Plus, I want to shoot our, uh, my wife's 238 some more because guys, we only got like 15 rounds down it. And she's wanting, and she has been carrying it. And I just, uh, I know it's a mouse gun and you know, and we've already covered this in another video. Pete did a great video on it, what a mouse gun is really actually for. Uh, you know, it's for a, a secondary or emergency backup pistol as a primary. It's not your primary carry. It's not her primary carry either, but she does like to carry it because it's small and she can grab it and just throw it in her purse when she runs in a store. But um, we need to make sure that it's gonna function good for at least 100 rounds or something. So I wanna get another box or box and a half of ammo down that thing because we just don't have enough down it. So I gotta shoot that. And plus the other one is I got something with my 229 and it happens with the 40 cal barrel and it also happens with the 357 barrel. Our 357 sig barrel and let me run this by you guys i got a theory on it I'm, at least we're going to find out if it's actually me or not i don't think it's me but you know we're going to find out um when i shoot this thing guys at 30 35 feet something like that maybe even up to 40 feet it shoots low okay now <clears throat> i'm old school guys i use a target hole which is basically you aim at six o'clock now, a lot of people now are being taught to aim at center mass. Some people call that a combat hole, which is fine. Uh, but even if I do that or here, either one, I shoot low at 30, 35, 40 feet. But I move that thing out to 25 yards, which is 75 feet. I shoot at six o'clock. It fires right up about the four or five ring almost every time. All right, so that's telling me that if I want it to shoot, um, accurately at 35 to 50 feet say or 30 to 50 feet that <clears throat> i'm either going to have to raise the rear sights or i'm going to lower the front sight okay which and they're um you know they're dovetail so i'll have to get new sights but i want to make sure that i'm not the cause of it and i've had other people fire it and other people seem to fire okay so maybe it's me but i don't do that with any of my other guns so that's why I wonder if it's me. But, um, so here's the deal with it. Uh, I was talking to Bill this weekend and he said, what you need to do is bench it. That takes the human element out of it. And, I, and I'd never really thought of that. And I said, you know, yeah, you're right. That, that makes a lot of sense. But I don't have anything to bench it with. And he said, use some ammo boxes or he uses sandbags. He bought them at Walmart. Well, I don't have any sandbags, but ammo boxes makes a lot of sense. And I'm like, my God, what a hell of an idea. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to take me out of it and I'm gonna see exactly what's going on with this. So that's the reason for that. But um, that's what I got on tap. It's what I wanted to do this weekend. This is just a quick throw up there BS video, guys. 
<clears throat> and uh, don't forget, show your, show your uh, screwed up underwear, right? Let's have fun here, right? It's what we're all about. Have fun. You teach, learn, have a good time. Let's do that. Anyway, that's all I got, guys. Hopefully, we'll get to the range this week. We'll have some good footage up. And hey, later.